my souls, and welcome back to Sable. I can also, actually hear it when you talk. How lovely. Also, uh, I apologize for the sound in the background. There's a landscaper out back right now who apparently thought it was a good idea to start at 7 p.m. Anyways. Hello, everybody. Hello, Aki. Hello, uh, Alex. Hello, Aiden. And them. Now you see what I mean by it's one of those days. <laughs> well, I found out what was the problem. Good. What's that? Uh, the controller I have right now. Or I'm currently got my microphone plugged into. By the way, yes, I do have two controllers plugged in to talk. What do you do in Sable? You go around and explore. Yes. Actually, one of the things I want to do. Is ex uh, to see if I can get onto the sun. I know that's a phrase and a half. Wait, I wonder if this controller has to be updated. Possibly. Oh shit! I think about making a Pokemon version of my Sona. Yeah. Just be ador eh, be an adorable Pokemon for a little while. Yeah. Taking a Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is cute. Yeah. Eh, personally, I think I'd go with a Sneasel though, because claws. And I think they're really cute. Yes. That and I like dark types. I don't know why I like dark types, I just really like dark types. We are literally on top of the watch right now. At one of the highest points in the game. Yes, Alex. <clears throat> hey, Alex, you're numb. It's one of those days. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think so. Yes. I hi. don't Hello. think you can actually die in Sable, no. Ah, fuck. Fuck, Wiggle! Do this. Fast way to get my thing back. And yes, guys, it is a free the nip day. The reason this is a free the nip oh, day is because we lost power last night to about a third of our house, and one of the things we didn't have proper power to was the AC. Ah. So yeah, it's one of those days. That because I, I really don't see why people get so fucking bothered when I do streams shirtless. I don't 
see any problem with it. No. I mean, it's not for shock value. It's not anything inherently sexual. It's just, I don't want to wear a shirt at the moment. Mostly because it's way too fucking hot in this house. <laughs> no, uh, Alex, there are a bunch of people out there that legit fucking don't like whenever I stream without my uh, without my shirt on. And then there's Aki who's too big for most shirts. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. That's actually how I wound up getting the fucking nickname at Nipples the Hedgehog. It's part of how I got that. That and the fact that my uh, persona has nipples, or very least one of the images of it does. Anyways, how is everybody out there in chat land? We... I just found something glowing red. Usually in games where you find something random glowing red, it's a bad thing! It's a shit. it's... I found a boneyard! Guess you did. Well, ain't that just a bunch of boners? No. Aw, oh, did I hurt your brain? Not yet. Nah, if Lewis shows up, though, I can very easily break your brain. Uh, he probably won't be showing up tonight. He's in the middle of a game with one of his friends. Aw, I was hoping he would show up. It's fun having him around. It makes it so much easier to turn you into a red nookie. Hit. Shush. <laughs> what? It's true, though. Oh, dear. What? I don't... Why? Why do I always lose this thing? Well, now I know what I'm not supposed to do. Oh, there's a piece of scrappy. No, that's not it. I keep losing my little fucking scraper and it's annoying. Because my desk go. is black and and it blends in. Huh. I hate it. So this is actively becoming even more of a platformer. <laughs> oh yeah, my headset. It's in the... I bought another pair of Astro A10s. Nice. I'm assuming I'm probably going to need this. You prone and piece of shit. Sorry. I said proning. to explore down here now. Whee! Hey, piece of scrap. 
Yikes, the chat is, uh... Oh, no, hold on. That might explain chat. why the chat looks a little dead on my end. The cat just flipped. That is adorable. The chat is Alex. Well, yeah. Well, Alex and Aiden. Uh, Alex and Aiden. And no, yes, Aiden, you're not allowed to join the Boneyard. Unless, of course, you're trying to get boned. Oh, no. See what I've got to do. Uh, hey, K-Bar, hello. Just got an Oculus and got 150 more subscribers. Nice. I mean, I've had an Oculus for a while now. Also, I'm assuming you're talking about the Oculus Quest 2. Really nice headset. Also, hello, Andy. Num. Remember though, when you get to a thousand, you also have to have uh, four hundred thousand or four hundred thousand, four hundred, uh, four thousand watch hours to monetize. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's yearly. You have to have that amount. You also have yearly. to be of age. Yep. Of age being eighteen. Yep. Mostly because it requires signing a legal contract. And going through your father is not an option. Nope. Ah, fuck. Uh, to sign that particular kind of contract? Yeah. You do. Again, going through your dad is a form of federal fraud. You need to be 18 to be able to sign that kind of contract. Minors are not legally allowed to enter into contracts like that without one, parental consent and fucking... That's not fair, man. What? Uh, I got ganged up on. <laughs> oh. It's fine, though. I don't care. It's an arcade mode. But yeah, no. You would need either his consent and for him to sign a whole host of fucking paperwork. Uh, Which I'm sure he's probably not going to agree to. Especially not since it's a form of, uh... What he would be signing is essentially telling YouTube, Hey, I'm fine with you tracking my kid. Easy, they're committing federal fraud. Because they're... Because they let their... It's probably under a parental account? Yep. 
you can get in trouble for it, dude. A lot of people don't because it doesn't get reported. And, dude, I need to point something out to you. Go look up the co uh, the Copa controversy, or Coppa controversy. YouTube knows that it's all happening. YouTube got sued for, like, something to the tune of $50 billion because it's happening. They also got nailed by the freaking uh, FCC. Stab it. But literally, by federal law, you have to have one parental consent to enter into that kind of contract, or you can't enter into that kind of contract. Because it's the same reason why porn sites don't ban kids who lie about their age. A lot of people lie about their age to be able to do this. Doing that, though, is still illegal. And yes, people have been caught and have been tried for it. It is a form of fraud. Hey, Aki. Hmm. Uh, Saren. Oh! I'm actually here. I can voice it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Instead of kept doing it for you. Uh, that's weird. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. You have unread messages, Sable. Also, K-Bar, to put something out there... It's not YouTube's job to monitor what you do and if you're lying to them. It's not their job to go investigate. But if they find out, they can then turn it over to, let's say, the FCC. This whole thing is science fiction, Alexander. Numb. Also, you were saying you only have 500 watch hours total right now? I literally just said that, K-Bar. If your dad is willing to sign the paperwork that essentially says, I'm fine with my kid having no privacy, then go for it. That's completely legal. But your dad has to sign it. And if you get caught trying to forge his signature, that's another crime. If he signed it, golden. But realistically, people that sign things like that have two reasons for doing it. One, they either want money from their kid because they think it's going to be lucrative. Or two, they just don't, they just flat out don't give a shit. I don't care, dude. I honestly don't care. And I have to ask why you keep coming to these streams just to have this conversation over and over again. What's up, Mom? Oh, and by the way, I guarantee you, once he's signed it, once you get yourself into, uh, once you get into the point where I'm at, if you get noticed for any reason by anyone who disagrees with you, I'm fairly certain when death threats and bomb threats start rolling in, he'll remove your ability to do anything on YouTube. And trust me. Bomb threats, death threats, uh, people stalking you, it all comes with being a YouTuber. So, it's a Oh, yeah. I mean, shit. If you haven't dealt with that yet, you're lucky. But trust me, it'll happen. Alex apparently made a poster. If your dad's okay with it, 
No offense, but that's... If your dad's okay with that, and okay with signing for you to be able to do that, no offense, man, but that's not a good parent. I'm sorry, I wouldn't sign something like that for my kids. Really wouldn't. Especially at your age, dude. Yep. Speaking of which, how old are you? Like, 13, 14? Dude, if your dad knows that you've had people show up at your door threatening you and is okay with letting that happen, that's not a parent that gives a fuck about their kid. Also, you are literally just above the age of... You're also just above the age where you can technically do this. Dude. You're that's not understanding not me. You're not understanding me. I mean, part of being a YouTuber is people will threaten you. Threaten to kill you. Threaten to blow up your house. Threaten to rape you. Not your dad, not your family, nothing like that. They will come after you eventually. It has happened to every YouTuber I know. Most of them just ignore it. Makes it harder to ignore when somebody shows up at your house trying to kill you. Or when somebody sends the police to swat you saying that you have a dead kid in your house that was literally just screaming. <sighs> good. Go for it. But, like I said, I don't honestly see that as being good parenting if your dad knows that all this shit happens and is okay with it. Aggie. Yes. Recording three. I'm gonna let you do this one because I'm kind of sick of the. Okay. Come on, Sing. You know what we're up against. We purge our engines out here. We've got nothing for the terraformers. We need to land and now. Ram it, Deacon. Wow. Look, every day the radiation is getting worse. I can't keep selling this BS to the crew. No, I'm not landing on that planet either. We're not landing anywhere until we know more about these atmospheric anomalies. There may be life signs on the surface, but that doesn't mean they are habitable. But we do need this stuff- Uh, need this stuff off the ship, Deacon. Mission be damned. That's, uh, stable. I think. It's not. That I think that's... I think that's Sign. Or Sai, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> that planet is the whole reason we're here. If we don't get those terraformers up and functional, then we came out here for nothing. How's that gonna look? we go back without completing our objective, you can forget a promotion. You'll be sent to some Outworld Rock to monitor a relay station, Captain. You think YouTube's easy, dude? It's not. It really isn't. Subscriber count doesn't mean very much, dude. It's your watch hours that count.
And at this point, I'm at this point, I'm going to say that you're only here to brag about your subscriber count, which doesn't mean shit. Now. Let's see. So, I want to check something out. Because one of the things that most people don't realize is that... Susha25, welcome to the channel. Hello. Okay, so, subscriber count as of 15 gain a day, 1 gain a day, 8 loss in a day, 38 gain in a day, 14 gain a day, 57 gain a day, 47 gain a day, 59 gain in a day. 29 gain a day, 25 gain a day, 75 gain a day. I mean, you're doing pretty good. Seventy-five gained in a day. Yeah. Which very much. Uh, how old? Not that old. Last time I checked. Okay, that's the thing that looks that looks suspicious as shit. Yeah. No, no, you, you have no idea what I'm looking at, do you, Claire? Monthly subscriber gain for K-Bar, monthly views for K-Bar. The line graph shows no decline whatsoever. So either you're... Uh, getting a bunch of people from, like, for your example, your school. Uh, which, again, no big deal. It's called networking. Or, the, what, the way it looks is you're paying for subscribers and views. Not saying you are, but that's what your social blade system looks like. Regardless, though, good luck on you, but... Understand, coming to this uh, channel just to boast about how well you're doing, oh well. Makes you look like a douche and makes everyone else just kind of not want to talk to you. So, for the moment, I'm just going to say, uh, it, it, quote, I'm not boasting. Says the person who has come in here, every stream they've been in here. Every time you've been in here, you've updated us on how many subs you've gotten, how many eh, views you're getting, and how you're getting your dad to pay for your shit. Or not pay for your shit, but getting your dad to do shit that a parent really shouldn't do. It's annoying, man. Okay. You come in here and start these conversations, derail my stream, and you think that's fun. 
Seriously? I don't care how well you are doing or not. Dude. Understand something. I don't care about sub count. I have never cared about sub count. Sitting there assuming that anyone actually cares about sub count? I mean, it's a thing. It's one thing to say, you know, hey, look, I'm doing well. It's another th It's one thing to come in and say, hey, uh, you know, I made another video and people seem to think it's pretty good. Coming in every time and announcing numbers of how many subs you've got or how many you think you're, you're trying to flex. And it makes you look like a douche. So please just, if you want to talk, talk to us. Don't come in here and immediately try to flex every time you uh, walk into, or not walk into, but log into a chat here. I get it. You're doing well. That's a good thing. But at the same time, it's annoying when that's when when that's what you do to open the conversation. It's almost as annoying as when somebody tries to message a YouTuber by just saying, hi. You've literally done nothing but talk about your growth. Exactly. Ever since you joined the streams. Nothing but. What are you talking about, dude? And if you're thinking a hundred thousand is what I'm talking about when I say you're flexing, it's not. But literally, every time you've come into the stream, you have announced your presence by telling everybody, Hey, look, I just got another 150 subs, or what have you. You did it That's today. annoying. That is annoying Dude. as shit. That you did it today. Dude, trust me, it's not. I just got an Oculus, and I also got 150 more subscribers. Yeah. Dude. If you want to talk... Don't say you're not doing something when you are. Hey, Claire. Give me a second. If you want to talk, talk to us. It's fine. It is good if you're doing well. If... And, mind you, when I said your social blade looks like you're paying for views, go look at your social blade, and then go look at most normal YouTubers. It looks like you're paying for it. If you're not... Fucking great it means you're doing good, but you don't have to announce, you know, every time you come in, because at that point it just feels like you're coming on here trying to advertise. If you want to come on to talk? Go ahead. We'll gladly talk to you, man. Oh, I'm, I'm well aware. But understand, I don't go for metas. I do this because I enjoy doing this. The last time we did a meta was because everyone who played it wanted to play it. Like, everyone in our, our for our channel wanted to play it. And that was Among Us. And that even got old as shit. If all you do is focus on the meta, go for it. If you have fun with it, go for it. I don't have fun chasing a meta. I don't have fun chasing a subscriber count because I don't care. I do this for the sake of having fun. And honestly, I don't like having to deal with people just going, Hey, look! Eh! get it. If you're doing good, cool. Then you're a YouTuber for the wrong reason, man. You aren't gonna get paid very much. Check out your Social Blade statistics. The amount of money you're getting, or that you would be getting if you were monetized right now, per month is like 20 bucks. And that's only because of the growth. 
when you stagnate, if you stagnate at all, that drops down to pennies a day. Yeah, that's the thing. I do this for fun. The money is a bonus, but it's not a lot of money, man. Anyways, back if to you the want game. to get. Okay. Yeah. Yes, what's please. up? Say, if you want to get paid, go mow your neighbor's lawn and run lemonade stands, and two years go work at McDonald's. YouTube is not a viable career. It, it really isn't. You're broke. You're 14. You can easily do what I did. Get a fucking lawnmower. Get, you know, use a lawnmower and go mow lawns. I did that as a kid to survive. You'll make way more money doing that in a single day than you will in a single month on YouTube. I mean, shit. I barely make it myself. And I have to do YouTube. I have... Welcome to the world... Uh, welcome to the way the world works, man. Understand. To just to be able to survive, I do YouTube. I also edit for like six other people. If you're doing something like YouTube just for the sake of getting paid... You're here for the wrong You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to enjoy it, and it just becomes another job. It becomes boring after a while, because if you don't enjoy your art, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're just putting out a bunch of trash. Exactly. You have to have some pride in your work. You have to have some level of, you enjoy what you're doing. Hey, uh, K-Bar, hate to point this out. In donations alone, I make about 50 bucks a month. And understand, that might sound like a lot. It's not. Go enjoy being a kid. Enjoy your life. If you enjoy doing YouTube, go for it. But understand, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're going to burn yourself out eventually. Making I've money and having fun. Hundreds of YouTubers do that. I have legit sat here and watched most of the people that I started my channel around burn out and disappear. Hell, there's one channel that I thought was going to be able to go the distance with me. And well, it's not giving up. Find what you enjoy doing. If you like doing YouTube, go for it. If you don't and you're just here to get paid, you're not going to get paid very much. Trust me. Making money and having fun are not the same thing. Now, uh, sorry to cut you off, but I need to point out, we have now been having this discussion for over 20 minutes. You have officially de uh, derailed this stream. We do need to continue. Anyways... Shall I read the line again? Uh, yeah. If we go back without completing our objective, you can forget a promotion. You'll be sent to some outworld rock to monitor a relay station, Captain. There's a bit of uh, tense silence after the emphasis on Captain, and I feel as though I'm listening to someone, uh, something I shouldn't. One called Sign, or Sing, speaks again. Okay, just once. Or, okay, just... Once we get within range of the planet, we give Saren two more days to figure out what the cause of this... Oh, what's the cause of this? The, of the disturbance. I don't want to fly through it if we don't know what it is. But we may not have a choice. Attaboy, Sting. I hey, knew you make the right call. Now, come on. Sit down and have a drink with me. Hey, Alex. I've been doing this for, I think, six years now. I do this because I enjoy doing it. And yeah, if it stops being fun for me, I may one day just say, fuck it, and stop. 
I don't see that happening anytime soon, though. Yay! You say that. You clearly never worked a... Um, well, thanks, man, but at the same time... Daily job. I'm, I'm fairly certain there are a lot more streamers that are more entertaining than I am. And you know what? If ever I do stop doing this... I'll probably sit there for a couple months before I stop, uh, just letting people know, hey, this person is streaming when I'm not, or this person is streaming when I used to, if you want somebody you can go watch if I'm not doing it, here's their link. It's the way, I, it's just kind of the way I work. Get the hell out of my room, Deacon. There's some silence, some shuffling, and a faint hiss of air. And it's just the lonely voice of the captain again. I wonder how long ago all this was. There, an override privacy protocols on Finance Officer Deacon. I want you to keep an eye on him. Oh, thanks, man. Yes, Captain. No unread messages. And by the way, I will point this out. I'm sorry if I come off as a dick, but it, it bugs me when people just focus on, like, hey, they have a good subscriber count. That's great. It's not the mentality I tend to keep because I don't see it as important. Like, flat out, I don't see subscriber count as an important thing. I've been doing this for eight years, I've got nearly 1,500, but of the 1,500 I've got, I know maybe 50 of them. Oh, exactly. And I mean, quite honestly, even if you don't legitimately enjoy what you're doing now, if you find something on YouTube, like, if you find something that you want to do, by all means, use the metas to get fucking subscribers. It's what I did if it uh, did initially. But at the same time, I converted a long time ago just to doing stuff that I enjoy. And honestly, to me, that's a better way of doing things because it doesn't... <laughs> oh god, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Um... Use a meta to grow if you need to. It, especially getting to that first thousand, because honestly, that is the biggest bitch in the world to do. For most YouTubers, it's nearly impossible. Trust me, I know, it took me about two years to get there. If the algorithm is favoring you right now because you're doing metas, golden. Use it to grow. At very least, it means you're using the metas and not something like controversy to grow your channel. That's a good thing. But... If it ever gets to a point where you don't like what you're doing, or you don't want to do what you're doing, find something you enjoy. Let people on YouTube see who you are. Oh, dude, no. I remember the first time I got a... Uh, the very first time this channel got a boost or a bump was when another YouTuber kind of shouted us out. This was back when I was still doing Pokemon Go and all that. It was back when I was at like 300 subs. Dude liked what I was doing, and one day just kind of raided my channel with a bunch of people. I'm sitting there streaming, and all of a sudden there's 300 people in my fucking stream. And I'm just like... That was fun. I stayed out for an extra, like, two hours that stream and just kept going, but... I get it. I know that feeling.
But that's a bit, weirdly enough, that's a feeling you shouldn't be chasing. At some point, uh, if you want to make sure you don't burn out on this uh, on this platform, find something you enjoy doing it and share it with the world. It's what I do. It's one of the reasons why I stream is because I love gaming. I really hope you don't, man. I really hope you don't, but I've also heard a lot of people say I won't burn out, and... <laughs> they burn out of... terribly. Good example. If you go back into my channel, like, if you go far back into my channel, back when we were doing things like, uh... I think it was... What was the name of that game? For Honor. There was a dude that was doing really well alongside me, doing really well, just in general, named Sparta Lycos. He thought he was going to go the distance, too. He burnt out and deleted his channel. Well, deleted most of his content. Because at one point, it dawned on him that the people that were coming to see him, or coming to watch... A lot of the people just were assholes. <laughs> and you couldn't deal with that. I've, I've seen other people do the same thing. It's weirdly enough a common trope for being a YouTuber. Most of them don't make it. Oh, by the way, uh, for the record, if you do want to make more money, one of the easiest ways to do it is to do what's called so uh, is to do what's called platform splitting. What I mean by that is stream on something like Twitch and port it over to YouTube. Because Twitch will pay you for doing that. If you're in it for money, Twitch is the way to go. I do this on YouTube because most of my viewers are here on YouTube and most of them don't want to go to Twitch. I'm fairly certain most of them would follow me if I did. But, at the same time, it's... Eh. That, and I can't stand Twitch myself. <laughs> like, I legitimately can't stand them. They're assholes to all of their creators. Oh my god. Uh, If your mom's telling your doctor you're a bum and you're 14, your mother's an abusive bitch. Sorry to say that, man, but that's not what a parent does. And I get it, there are some people that are in that situation. It sucks to be in that situation. But at the same time, no parent should be sitting there bad-mouthing their kid. Ever. That's not what a parent does. That's not a way to motivate your kid. That's not a way to help your kid in any way. It's just not. And it's really sad that there are a lot of people out there that think that is a good way to motivate their fucking kid. I confirm it isn't. Again, if she's calling you a bum because you don't have a job at 14, what she wants you to do is essentially ignore child labor laws. Which means she's not a good parent. When you're a kid, you're supposed to have fun. You're not supposed to be sitting there going, Oh, I need to make money! I mean, having some uh, having some cash on hand, it's a good thing. It's fun. It's useful. But it shouldn't be what your main focus is when you're a kid. It's just not. And yeah, no, I know. I've Hey, Johnson. I've met a couple people whose families are like that. I mean, shit. Uh, my dad was kind of the same way. When I was 15, he flat out told me, you either need to get a job or I'm disowning you. And it's one of those, I don't care if you disown me. I mean, shit. <laughs> I am a broke-ass bitch. I am poor as all hell. 
I know I'm lower class. One of the things I've been doing, why I've been... Uh... Oh god, yeah, no, I'm well aware, trust me. I'm living in California, surviving off of a little over $300 a month. My quality of life is shit. I'm, I'm well aware. And I feel for you, man. But at the same time, you're a kid. You should be trying to enjoy your life, not focusing on things that the adults in your life should be focusing on more. You shouldn't have to deal with money worries. You shouldn't be told that you're fucking a bum for not having a job when technically you're not supposed to have a job at that age. It's illegal in most places to employ a 14-year-old. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a thing. It's, it's pretty amazing when you've got people that are willing to help you out. And, uh, hey, Aki. Is it, okay mm. if I start, is it okay if I talk about what you did for me the other, uh, day? Do what? The donation you made? I mean, sure. Okay. So, understand, I get it. When somebody helps you out like that, really fucking good. Really, it makes you feel really good. I know this because, again, I survive off of just about $300 a month. Maximum. That's for food, rent, phone, everything. Aki here flat out donated 350 bucks to me because I was in a bad way health-wise. And it's just one of those moments of... I still can't thank you enough, Aki Snack. I really can't. You made shit a lot easier for me when you did that. I mean, you're an important person to me. <sighs> and realistically, man, this is why I do YouTube. Is because through this platform, I have made friends I would never have been able to make any other way. I have met people that have changed my life for the better in so many ways. If I had just been doing yeah. this for money, I wouldn't have cared. I probably wouldn't have taken the time that it did to meet new people. I would just be focused on, you know, what can I do to make more money. That's one of the reasons why I keep saying if that's your main aim, which is great. But that's not what YouTube is. Oh, and uh, by the way, for what it's worth, I do a hell of a lot more on here than streaming. One of the main things I do is commentary, and I have been thrown this way and that for doing that. <laughs> uh, Alex, realistically, you don't need to be 18 to join the streams. You would need to be 16 and have a... Uh, bit of written consent from your family. The problem with that is, technically, I wouldn't be able to keep a hold of the contract, or the paperwork, rather, that you would need to sign because of COPPA, which is a load of bullshit. But yeah. Legit... When you hit a thousand, let me know, because that day I'm going to give you fucking props, because I'll point out, getting to a thousand subs is supposed to be one of the hardest things you can ever do on YouTube. If you've gone the distance and made it there relatively easily, good. But just don't rely on metas forever. Cool. There's no possible way you'll be at 1,000 tomorrow. I mean, he's at 950 right now, and or 950-ish right now, and he's been gaining 
anywhere between 10 and 50 a day. Though there is a chance that it'll get to 1,000 by tomorrow. Uh, then again, you also have had days... Man. Of... Check it out. Why you couldn't... definitely need to go to Social Blade and check your stats. Because there have been some days where you've lost just as many viewers as you've gained. If you are focused almost entirely on your sub count, if that's what you're doing at the moment, make sure that you figure out what you did on those days that caused it and try to avoid doing that. Because if you're in this for sub count and money, that's the literally the only thing you can focus on is sub count and money. That's legit also why everyone I know has burned out because a lot of them focused on, huh, I'm, I'm just gonna do this and get paid. Use the meta to grow your first little bit. That's golden. That's something I will tell everybody out there. Be proud of what you accomplish. That's another thing. Don't flaunt it, and don't make it the only thing you focus on. Okay, so, I mean, the whale seems like it's going to be a gigantic fucking puzzle. I won't you're not say proud you're, uh, you're pizzazzed? I don't know how to respond to that, but it does sound pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Either way, man. Once you get to a thousand, if you want to keep growing after that, go for it. But just don't forget that sometimes you just need to do things for you. And if that means taking a break, take a break. That's a good thing. Do anything you can to make sure you don't burn yourself out, man. Oh shit, it's timed. Just be you, man. Different doesn't matter. Just being yourself. I mean, shit. If you're... Like I said, if you're doing well, golden. It's the best thing. It can be the best feeling in the world. Trust me, I know. I'm actually kind of psyched with the fact that I am as close as I am to 1,500. But, at the same time, it's one of those... I made the mistake of focusing on just sub count as well at one point, and it was one of those moments of... I didn't enjoy what I was doing. One of the reasons I made the change to streaming and doing social commentary rather than uh, fucking the VODs that I was doing initially, because... If you look back at my older material, I was doing videos on demand, or VOD, which was, I was doing the Twitch thing. I was recording on Twitch, and then porting it over to YouTube, and putting out daily videos. But I didn't meet anybody when I was doing it. And one of the biggest reasons I do this is because I wanted to build a community. Find your reason. If you got a good reason for doing it, go for it. If your reason changes over time, golden. But don't let numbers be your only reason for doing it. Go for it, man. Like I said, find what you enjoy doing, share it with the world. If you legitimately like streaming, go first, uh, go do, uh, do some streams. If you like making VOD content, go do that. If you like doing social commentary, do that. But don't just focus on that as man. Do what you want with your channel, but my only 
advice is don't make making content your main income. Yeah. Oh god no. Oh. That is That's one of the worst things can... you can do. It's because your creativity is unreliable. Yeah. Um you know, you don't make a lot of money. It's very unstable and unpredictable. Yeah. And if you're forcing yourself to put out content, you're not going to want to do it anymore. I. How stopped. did I just phase through a fucking wall? I personally have stopped scheduling my uploads for that exact same reason. Because if yeah, I made myself. If I made myself, like write a new song like every week I I wouldn't know like what to do yeah I would be I would dry myself out of inspiration and I would yeah. not even want to do music anymore and realistically for those of you who have been wondering that's part of the reason why we haven't had much frost content recently is kiddo tried to keep up with me i've been doing this for a couple years and he had been doing it for about a year he burned himself out so i decided to pick up the scheduled uh, streams or scheduled videos so he can just focus on what he enjoys doing i still edit his videos for him but he's not making videos every weekend not trying to in fact i think one of the things he was talking about doing was uh he wanted to start making TikTok style content because he enjoyed it more than, you know, doing the recordings that we were doing. So, oh yeah, by the way, that that's another thing. <laughs> Keep an eye out because apparently fucking Frost wants to do TikTok style content. So he's going into shorts. Oh dear. Possibly. Oh dear. I mean, he's done a couple already that were cute. I mean, shorts is another way to gain subscribers. Yeah. And realistically, I think Frost has ADHD because his attention span sometimes is insane. Like, a good example, you know the, uh... You know the, uh, meme videos he used to do that were fucking mm -hmm. live-action record? Those were like yeah. eight, nine, ten minutes long. Do you know how long it took him to fully get one of those things recorded that got chopped down to like eight, nine, ten minutes? Mm -hmm. Hour and a half. Legit yeah, took an hour and a half each time. I was going to say earlier about like burning out. I'm trying not to do that to myself. I. There's a part of me that really, like, you know, wants to be productive and, you know, push out these pieces as soon as I can. But, like, I also don't want to, like, force myself to do it. Yeah. The project I've been doing recently involves, like, extremely lo long pieces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the reason for that, it's an artistic choice. But yeah. <laughs> I... Like, every day I'm, like, telling myself, you know, I need to work on this, like, at least a little bit. There are still days where I, like, don't even want to do it. And yeah. It, e it even can though be I feel a hassle bad, I, Yeah. But I, I just try not to worry about, or worry about it, because I still don't want to, like, burn myself out on it. And yeah. force myself to make something when I am not in, like, the right headspace to create. Yeah. And that's another thing, and I, it, that's another thing that most people haven't realized yet. I don't think most people get it about me. I don't necessarily stream like this because, like, I, I don't stream on this schedule because, oh, I, I'm, I'm just good at having a schedule. No. I do it because I want to be able to interact with my friends on a regular basis. And for me, that's what my streaming is. It's... My ability to talk to my friends. My ability to share something that I enjoy with them. It's the entire yeah. time, uh, entire reason I stream. And yes, I know how weird this sounds. Uh, a fucking naked man playing a video game giving life advice. 
Well, not entirely naked. No, 100% entirely naked. That is not information I needed or wanted. That's not information the stream needed. You can't see anything of it. So what's the problem? That's another thing a lot of people don't know about me, is I'm a fucking naturalist. 99% of my day is spent without clothing. Which it's hot. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I said know. speaking of which, it's hot in my room right now. Yeah. I'll say it's hot in here too, and I wish I actually had some fucking privacy. Oh, you should ask the people I live with. Sometimes I don't give a fuck about privacy. Again, it yeah, comes well, with being you, a, you, It very much comes with being a naturalist, and I'm just... I'm a naturalist, and I'm very much a shameless individual. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, I can... Did I hurt your brain? My brain has been hurting for a, a while now. Aw, bracky snack. So I've got adults upstairs yelling as well. Aw. I don't think it's like, like a bad yelling, but... I was gonna say, it sounds like you need snuggles. I could always use some snugs. Mm. It's kind of my philosophy that everyone could use a good hug now and then. So. Then again, I'm again also that weird guy that is bare naked fucking streaming a video game. Just remember to mute yourself when you go to get up. Aw, but why? Do you not like the idea of kissy noises? No, thank you. <laughs> Mainly because I have to hear it myself whenever I get up. No worries there. I, one, don't plan to get up before the stream is over, and two... Hey, it's a delin! Uh, two... I actually have something beneath me right now. Like, I have a piece of cloth beneath me, so that doesn't happen. Uh, understand, the reason I'm doing this without clothing on is because... Earlier today, it was 115 in this room. Yeah. That How is hotter. That? that is hot. I almost did too. Not legit. I almost wound up with fucking. I had to leave this room because it was getting so hot. I actually considered canceling tonight's stream because of how hot it got. Jeez. What the fuck are they talking about? Nope. Okay, so I can't do it that way. There's got to be a reason that this door is like this, and this area is like this. Or is this just a random... Is this a red herring? This feels a little bit like a red herring. like a pointer uh, I'm guessing one of the things I need to do is focus on getting the bike through that area over there but sure this ship has a central purpose that is outside of the puzzles inside it well yeah I figured that much That being said, I don't think the puzzles are actually important. Hmm. They're more of a thing for me to do. It's like a fidget toy. A very large fidget toy. Yes, because the giant ass spaceship is a giant fidget toy. That would be an insanely amusing thing, just to realize that one of these things was just the fidget toy of a giant fucking overbearing god. 
and the only reason the ship crashed is because that god got tired of said fidget toy and just tossed it in the sands. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like something that would happen in a Thorian. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it has happened in a Thorian. Oh god, I know one of your characters was fucking uh, practically a fidget toy to a god at one point. We don't want to talk about that. What? You did well under hate. Also, Why? without context, that sounds really fucked up. But no, you did really good as a fucking servant of hate. Oh, my hand's here. That's why. I try. E. Also, hey, Johnson. If you're going to BLFC 2023... Definitely come up and say hi if you want. Uh, I will be there. I, I, I'm i pretty much going to BLFC anytime I can. I legit scrimp and save all year just to be able to go. So, if you, wanna, if you see me there and you want to come up and say hey, don't be shy. Just come up and say hey. Let me know who you are. And we'll hang out. Also, I need to figure out where the fuck to put or to bring all this scrap metal. Maybe one of these years we'll consider going. I mean, I would definitely First, like to I'll see you out there, man. <laughs> I'll have to be my own place first. What do you mean? I don't think it's something my mother would support me for. Oh, well. If it's something you want to do, honestly, just do it. Don't give a fuck what your mother thinks. Well, at the current moment, I don't have transportation, so... That's another reason why it would be a pain in the butt to get out immediately, but yeah. But now, like, my diet is, like, basically over. I'm still gonna mm. be, like, you know... I'd I'm not gonna yes go back to my old habits. Yeah, good. I'm not gonna go back... Yeah, I'm not going back to my old habits. I'm still like trying to help that I'm not. I don't have to be like as strict about it. Yeah. Just understand that once you're off. Everything your diet, in moderation. Everything in moderation. Yeah. Um. Uh, and just the fact that you're saying you don't want to go back to those old habits—that is an amazingly good thing. And I'm I'm kind of there myself. I like as as much as I crave a soda sometimes. Like I don't think yeah. I would feel correct drinking one. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Uh, my mother did this a while back, and yes, I know I'm a uh, grown ass man talking about mama. Uh, my mother tried doing this at one point recently. She essentially swore off of soda for. A long ass time and I'll give her props she did well for several years well when we went and visited the Grand Canyon she decided she was going to have a soda she took one sip and immediately he told me hey uh, you, you know if you want this you can have it she realized yeah. that she was drinking it off of uh, an addiction she doesn't like the carbonation in any form of soda it, she it she thinks it burns, but she had been drinking it for so long that it was just kind of second nature to her. Mm -hmm. You know, one time, yeah, like one time I was feeling, I was like upset, and I ran up to uh, Walgreens. I picked up a Diet Seven Up. I came back. I took a few steps, and I'm like. I end up flushing the rest down the toilet. Yeah. It, just, it didn't feel right. And I'm kind of there it... as well when it comes to things like that, myself. Anyways. Yeah, that's... Speaking of moderation, it's kind of what happened to me when I stopped drinking. Yeah. I went back to... I drank once and was like, ugh. Yeah. See, that's, 
that's the thing too, is personally I want to get away from the majority of my addictions. I've managed to kick nicotine, I've managed to kick alcohol, I'm currently working on weed. That one though, I don't think I'm ever fully going to stop, but I do want to bring myself down to a you know, tolerable level. Yeah. Kind of. Because, about. legit, I enjoy being stoned. I really do, and to some degree that's the problem. I enjoy it a little too much, and sometimes when life gets to be a pain in the ass, I fall back on it. And yeah. I have realized that more and more recently, and I don't want that to be the case. My co-workers, uh, my new co-workers, the, one that, the ones that recently just got hired, I told one of them that I go to the dispensaries around here, and I get neat. And they're like, only an eighth? And I'm like, yeah, I don't need any more. Yeah, I mean, an eighth is... N Seriously, if you're smoking more than that in a fucking week, you're smoking too much. I know this because, trust me, I smoke too much! Yes, I go through an eighth <coughs> about... two weeks? Yeah, for me, it's like three or four days to go through an eighth. And I do want to get the fuck away from that particular bit of truth. Because I really don't want to be losing that much money uh, anymore. At least not that Where quickly. I'm at, I think. Where I'm at is probably where I'm going to stay. Yeah. I was going to mention. I think my body's kind of like unadjusted to like the habits I had beforehand. Because. Yesterday, I, or was it, no, it was yesterday, I decided to, like, you know, splurge and, you know, have my cheat day. At the end of it, I came down with, like, the worst stomach cramp I've had in my life. Yeah. And it lasted, like, an hour. Ah, that sucks. And then this morning, I, will... I woke up with, yeah. um, I woke up with heartburn and just sour stomach. And that's uh, the Alexander, all day. I might... Or I might not. It all depends on what I'm doing afterwards, because I have told a friend of mine, or actually, no, fuck it. Fuck referring to him as just a friend of mine. I told Scar that I'm uh, probably going to be hanging out with him for a little while after stream, because we kind of both want to get back into this one game that we played, and we have been planning this gigantic trip on that game. He wants to get back into it, wants to relearn some stuff, and wants to make a bit of money on the game, so... I told him we'd go out mining. Fun. Yeah, I, I will it. say... Regarding to the moderation thing... No, Scar uh, is say, in his 20s. At least I think he is. He like what? I think he's in his barely uh, older early than 20s, me. right? He's barely older than me. Yeah. He's still the same age, but he's just older. Okay, so yeah, he's in his early, early 20s. Yeah, he's 22. Like me. Let's see if the giraffe can outrun yeah, the bullshit, shall we? Okay. Anyways, you were saying that? Yeah. Can... I, I feel like I've managed to, like, unadjust my body to my old habits anyway. Because of the way my body reacted last night. Ah. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of stopping me from, you know, going back to my old habits anyway. <laughs> I, I don't plan on going back at all, and I'm certainly going to do my best to stay within moderation, but you know, at least I don't have to be stuck on, like, you know, like... Ten dollar keto bread and all that bullshit. Yeah. Oh, that's the oh oh oh. <laughs> you need to understand what happened to me recently, and this is a weird thing because I'm fairly certain this was somebody being a dick, but at the same time, it may have been somebody being helpful, I guess, or thinking they were being helpful. Take a wild guess what appeared outside of my fucking front or outside of my front door last night. Food. No. Actually, sort of yes and sort of no. 
It was a 10 day, or not a 10 day, a 5 day uh, fasting diet kit. My body doesn't do well with fasting. Now, mine, weirdly enough, does, but at the same time, I couldn't do five days on it. Because at that point, you have to uh, understand, five days of fasting can also lead to something called refeeding syndrome. If you do wind up uh, fasting for that amount of time, and then wind up just eating normally afterwards, you can die. It can flat out kill you. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't. I I don't lose weight well on fasting. So the first time I did it, I tried doing like <coughs> like, like a twelve-hour fast, or no, it was a sixteen-hour fast. I couldn't yeah. eat after a certain hour, and I did not eat until like a certain hour of the day. Yeah. And I mean, I lost twenty pounds in six months then, which you know is something. But this time around. <coughs> I schedule my meals and I do like regular <laughs> intervals throughout the day, and within eight months I'm down a hundred pounds. Yeah. And it's legit all for like it's legit all what works for you. Yeah. <coughs> no one like strategy for losing weight works for everyone. You just have to try things out and see what works for you, which can be a, like a damn difficult thing to do. Yeah. Uh, Alexander, I will admit I haven't checked out your channel yet. Um, I will check that out either tonight or tomorrow. And if I see you're, you know, doing well in your content, doing well and what, or doing well or what have you, uh, on what you're doing and you're consistent, then yeah. I will Alex. say I have checked out your channel, Alex, and for me, it's just it. It's not a. It's not for me. But I'm less looking for. I'm less looking for you know, if it's the if it's the kind of content I would watch, and more looking for consistency. It's pretty consistent. I would say it's okay. nicely set up. You've got, they've got shorts set up. They've got videos. Think uh, live streams. Oh, well, cool. So Do you've checked things? out their channel, and it's pretty well set up, right? It's pretty well set up, I'd say. Okay. Well, since one of our team has uh, essentially just vouched for you. Let's see. Where, where is Alex? There you are. Speaking of making music, I I only have like eight and a half minutes of the piece so far, so we're nearly halfway there. <laughs> Yeet! So now I need to figure out where the hell I need to go inside the whale. That's a praise. <coughs> My guess is probably up. Oh, did I say she? I am so sorry. I have a cousin named Alex who is female, sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you'd said they. Alex is a gender neutral name. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, you said that. He was, okay. spe he was specifying his pronouns. Yeah. And realistically, whenever I say... If I wind up saying, you know, they for somebody's pronouns, usually it's either because I... they've requested it, or because I don't know what their pronouns are. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> because legit, I, I do try to be respectful. It's a default term I use. Oh yeah, same. That's kind of what I was just saying. If, for me, they is a default. If I don't know specifically what they are, I, yeah. I, I'm not going to. I, like, I'm not going to assume someone's gender. Well, no, if I don't specifically know the person, even though I've heard your yep. voice, Alex, I just say they. 
Well, that's another thing, is because you, you say you've uh, heard Alex's voice, but at the same time, hey, Claire. Hmm. There are a lot of people out there that think you're a dude because of your voice. Yeah. Which, honestly, I can't fucking understand because to me, you sound like a chick. I mean, honestly, I can kind of see it. It's still a little. It's still a little low enough that if I may go down. Down a turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said turn and it just... Hey, it, it, when you, it's only like when your voice gets like to a certain like low, low, it, low range. When my voice gets to a certain octave, it comes yeah. out. I mean, musician, that word should have just came to me, but it didn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anywho? I mean, hey, uh... Well, that's the thing. Oh, no. It, it is, but it isn't. And trust me, I have heard Claire when she's slipped on her voice. Because do remember, there have been times you've gotten whirlwind stoned, and... There was one time Just... where I legitimately had to ask, oh. who is this? Because your ass sounded like fucking a buddy of mine that goes by Trevor. Oh! Not to mention, there are, there is a certain tree I am allergic to its pollen. Ooh, that, yeah, no, that can, that can do it too. That if I'm around it, I, my throat gets so scratchy to the point where it sounds lower or I don't have one. Should, I, I should probably retitle this stream fucking, uh, like, just fucking exploring the whale. Because we have not gotten a single cartographer's map. I'm, I'm probably gonna... <laughs> I'm probably going to, after the fact, rename it Exploring the Whale. Keep in mind, I'm also still working on it. I haven't stopped working on it. If you go to some of the earlier streams I was in, like the first Minecraft Settlers, I think. Yeah, you were in Season 1 of Minecraft Settlers. That was your debut stream, too. Yeah, if you go to the first one and compare it to this one, yeah. I sound like two completely different people. Yep. That, it sounded, when you, back then, it really sounded like you were trying too hard. Mm-hmm. Now it comes like, after it, like it legit sounded like you were just trying way too hard. Now it comes a bit more natural for you, which is a good thing. Oh god. Well, but I'm, I'm gonna to have to start forcing it stage. again to get it a little bit higher. Why? Now, really quick question. Are you on E yet or no? No. Okay. Don't try to force yourself to make your voice go you know, higher. Understand where you've got it right now for not being on E. You're you're good. You're good. You're gold. You go on E, and your voice is gonna dip. Like it, if you try much harder, it'll get so second nature to you that when it does, that when you don't need to try, you're gonna sound like fucking Elmo. <laughs> yeah, I think it sounds good as it is. Well. I've been trying to go out on E for the past two years now. And the process itself can be a pain in the ass. I'm well aware of that. Well, mm -hmm. I found a very pretty hydroponics place. E. Not only that, it's also a financial... Wait, place I feel too. stupid. I feel very stupid. Oh, thank you. Also, um, there have been times where I'm like, I should probably stop talking too much, so much, because the amount of talking I've had to do between my job and streams is insane, and it's getting too hot in here. I might actually have to. I might actually have to strip. <laughs> the whales are calling me shit. 
It's a terraformer and colony ship. No. Menstruation doesn't happen. The fucking uh, giant goofy ass grin that just went across my face. Um, only... um, 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 Claire, you're giving misinformation at the moment. Well, menstruation is technically a yes and a no. When you're on estrogen, you will have a cycle. It won't be the same concept. To that, kid. It's mostly the cramping, none of the bleeding. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. And a Typical lot of emotional menstruation. Yeah. Typical menstruation, like bleeding and all that doesn't happen. Yeah. What you do get is the cramps, the emotional hormone The hormonal imbalance, the ridiculous of, you know, just the sudden emotional shifts and all that, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say that, Kit. You cut me off mid-explanation. I know, but it, it. Let me put it to you this way: I heard the "it's not really a problem," and I know people who are on E. And trust me, they would literally yell at you for saying it's not a problem, <laughs> because it is. For some people, it is a big problem. For others, it's not. Uh, a buddy of mine, again. Uh, Once Nisha. again, it depends on. It depends on the body and. What's yeah. going on in it? It's one of those. For it is people. different for everyone. Uh, apparently, Faye has a mild cycle. Um, but I I've told you guys about my buddy Tanisha, right? Uh, no. I know I've told you about. You I, I know I've told you about her from before her transition. I don't remember. Sorry. The dude who, uh... Me and him reenacted a scene from Roots in school. Hmm. But yeah, no. Her cycle kicks the shit, kicks the shit out of her. Like, yeah. we're talking cramps from hell. Yeah, some people will have cramps from hell. Some people will have little to nothing. Yeah. So it affects everyone differently. For me, though, for me, though, I feel like it's going to be cramped from hell. If you're lucky, no. If you're not lucky, and girl, I know you, you're not the lucky type. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. You've seen my lunk. My, my lunk? My luck on Minecraft, of all things. Yeah, no, I've seen your luck on most things, Claire. Your luck is trash on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I think we need a good luck charm. I very much needs a good luck charm. I need a fucking rabbit's foot. E. Which is uh which is ironic because I have a button. Hey guys, check it out. We got 37 little fuckers. Shit. What? Hey, I've spared you for the last four fuckers that I grabbed. You're the one that started calling them chegs. I'm not the one who tainted the name. <laughs> Boyo, you knew, you knew by calling it that around me. The person that does dad jokes, because, I mean, hi, that it would be a thing eventually. I must be stupid, because no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Anytime I would say chum egg, you would say chegg. Because that's what it is. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Chegs! No. Apparently something I something I said got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> um Jesus, where the fuck? This place is gigantic! 
You know, when we start making the compilations of the stream, we're gonna have to include those clips. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I'm gonna end up in Cause... one of these compilations. Oh, you're gonna end up in a, yes, probably yes, a couple of them, bud. <laughs> just the Squeaks compilation. Oh god, yeah, no. We need to just do fucking Aki Squeak compilation at some point. Oh. <laughs> Add more. And there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you content. Lunk. Nah, 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 nah. What we gotta do is the not adorable uh, thing. Anytime Aki is uh, sat there and argued and whined and whimpered all adorably. Then we have to do Aaron saying he's not a furry, but... Yeah. No, just the, I'm not a furry. And then, uh, no, no. What we need to do is a bunch of clips of Aaron doing the I'm not a furry thing. And then, like, all of the proof that he has given to, you know, being a furry, including the fact that he himself stated he's a badger. If anything, and I remember his quote correctly, he said, If anything, I am a European badger. Yeah. Why am I oh. What did I say? Jesus Christ, F-A-L. Okay, so this is one of the... I, I eventually find little things in these games that are just little annoyances to me. What just happened to me is annoying as fuck in my head. Like, it's to me it is annoying as hell. No clip through an object. Yeah, I just no clip through a platform. Or what should have been a platform. But it's not it doesn't have any clipping to it. I never said I through. want I never said I wanted to be in it. I just I was curious if <clears throat> I was like if I was going to end up in a compilation. You will. You will. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay, hey, Aki. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to ask. Am I anywhere close to finding what I need to get, or where I need to get inside this whale? Uh, here's the problem. I don't actually exactly remember where it is. Like, is it up or is it down? I feel like it's more up. Because I, it, I, it feels like I've reached the height that I, uh, the max height I can reach. At least in this area. Oh, gosh. I'll at least look it up. I won't say anything. Yeah. So that's a no clip. Is that a no clip? <laughs> Okay. I see now. There's a big chunk oh. of what looks like glass. As I'm about to uh, <laughs> ingest uh, legal drugs, I will remind every miner out there don't do drugs. Yeah. Actually, you know what? In I'm going to say flat out, don't do drugs as a minor. If you want to experiment as an adult, go for it. It's an experience that most people should probably have if they're interested in the idea. But if you're a kid, don't fucking try it. It's going to fuck your brain up. Mm-hmm. Oh, this shit's dry. But it's a good dry. It's not... 
too dry. You know what I mean. So it's dry like paper, not dry like sandpaper condom. Yeah. Oh god. It's it's perfect for bongs. Okay. Oh, I I hate that idea. My what, sandpaper condom? Perfect for. No, I hate it. Aw, oh, but why? My last step was good enough for uh, joints. Fuck you, mean it why? Because super sticky. <laughs> I probably <laughs> should have made it. Oh no! Aki, you poor thing! I think I just killed Aki's brain. But I like mean, what? Sandpaper condoms can be useful, just not for sex. Uh, well... I mean, if you need to sand a nice hole in a piece of wood... And you want to get off while doing so? No, I was just talking about wrapping your fingers in it. Oh. You do realize the phrase, sandpaper condom, actually has a meaning, right? Yes. It's literally where you take a piece of sandpaper, wrap it around your fingers, and just... Woodworking is a thing. Yes. Something I haven't done. It's oh, I hard. have. A lot. Nah. Okay, so I... I know where the thing is. I know is it how to up take or down? put together a small motor. It is down. It's on the bottom side of the ship. Down, bottom side of ship. Okay. I will also say it's at the back of the ship. Wherever that is. I just found a door that I didn't know existed. I don't think I'd, I don't think I've gone through this one yet. Nope, I've been through this one. Aki is cute. I want the cute. Who are the cute? Call me cute one more time and see what happens. Hey Aki. I could make a statement right now that would derail your entire train of thought. I'm sure you could. But you are cute. Bap. Om nom face. But yeah, no. I know something I could say that I'm fairly certain the Yamper would agree with. <coughs> and it would make your brain go squish! Who's to say my brain is already mush? I'm fairly certain this would make your brain go squish in a way it's never gone squish before. I don't think that's possible. Hey, Aki. Mm. Would you like me to prove that it is possible? I don't think you can. Hey, Aki. You're not just cute, you're hot. I'm not commenting. What? You've seen him. I'm not gonna comment. And it is true, though. You are. Like I said, you very much look like Avia used to look. Back when he was in his 20s. Not necessarily my thing nowadays, but there are a lot of people who it is.
I told you I could say something that would make your brain go to mush. And it did. And like I said, I'm fairly certain the Yamper would agree too. snack. Hello. I want to go home. <laughs> I thought you were home. This isn't going to be behind some, like, hidden wall bullshit, is it? Shouldn't be. Is there a second half of the whale that I haven't found or some shit? Because I think I've been all throughout this thing already, or at least... Yikes. Do you want me to read what's on the wiki? Nah, I might just spend a bunch of tomorrow trying to... Ah. Okay, well, that's the thing, Volk. And it very much could be a customs thing. Again, remember, that was one of the worries that we had when shipping your head to you. We didn't know if it was gonna go through, if it was gonna be able to go through customs properly. So, it's a thing. You tried. And that's what matters, man. Thank you. I want to be in bed with my puppy, and I want to get a sleeve of Oreos, and I want to get under the covers. Is your brain hurting that much? Yes. Aw, poor Aki. I told you, though, that it would make your brain go to mush in ways it never has. I did warn you. Yum, yum. <laughs> hey, Volk. Numb face. Oh, my brain hurts a little. Oh, Jesus, I just looked at the time. Fuck. want cookies and fuzzy socks. So, freshly baked cookies with a cold glass of milk. Fuzzy and socks fuzzy and socks. A, uh, fuzzy socks and a yamper to snuggle. That actually sounds really good. Like, just having just fuzzy socks on and being able to curl up and snuggle up to somebody that you care about. It really sounds like a good, eh, like a good day. And now I've made myself depressed. I hate doing that. Did I just find it? Uh, okay. Nope, I've already been here. And this is not it. Fuck. Is it the bottommost area of the thing, or is it just, like, the fucking normal base area. Like, floor one. 
it should just be the normal base area. Okay, that's why I wasn't finding it, because I was looking in the underground part. Oh, you're talking about the wick bot, aren't you? Yeah, no, that one's a bitch and a half sometimes. Realistically, if you're trying to send things like videos, if you don't want wick to nail you, one of the things you need to do is stagger when you hit enter. It's essentially an anti-raid thing, so if you add too much too quickly, it just kind of goes, Oh, it's the, this is the raid! Funk. Because, yeah, no, down here is where I was looking. If it's the normal base area, then it would be up one, so it's essentially the middle floor. Anyways, and this is probably where we're going to have to leave off, folks. So, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload and when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Souls and Crew signing off. So until next time, everybody. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Ah. <laughs>